2023 has been one of the busiest for the judiciary in recent times. Being an election year, the courts were active with pre-election and related litigations, while the tribunals buzzed with post-election petitions, many of which are still pending. It was also a significant year in which the judiciary gained financial autonomy and had 11 justices confirmed for the Supreme Court's bench to make up the constitutionally required 21. Galaxy News correspondent Lebby Joseph takes a look at the occurrences in the judiciary in 2023. One of the cases that dominated 2023 was the one on narrow redesign a policy which fostered social chaos and hardship on citizens. In consolidated lawsuits by states, the plaintiffs argued that the Nara redesign policy was unconstitutional and should be voided. On March 4, the Supreme Court held that the old and new Nara remains legal tender. The Supreme Court slammed former President Muhammad Buhari for disregarding an earlier order made on February 8 on the validity of the hood notes by making a broadcast eight days later that only 200 Nara notes were legal tender. The rule of law upon which a democratic government is founded becomes illusion if the President of the country or any other authority or persons refuses to obey the orders of the court, the Supreme Court said. And Mefele was appointed central bank governor by the PDP originally. So let's not forget where he came from. And he's the one that put this policy together to help the PDP win the 2023 20, 20, general elections and deceive the president into thinking that it is possible to withdraw two trillion naira from circulation and reprint everything in three months. No country in the world history has done it. He deceived the president, he gave the president wrong information. The decision today has proven that Nigerian law is a respecter of no one, including Mr. President. Nobody can take the laws for granted and go scot-free. This is what it has proven today. One can describe the judiciary in Nigeria this year um, in one breath, sweet and sour. And why did I say this? Uh, there are a lot of um, good parts, but there are a lot, of, a lot more of uh, knocks you know, on the judiciary in Nigeria. The most shocking incidents in recent Nigerian judicial history was the July 25 brawl at the Federal High Court in Lagos, where ordered machine gun toting DSS operatives we arrested the Mefili after a tussle with officials of the Nigerian Correctional Center over who should retain custody of the bank chief. Emefele was rearrested in the hallowed grounds of the court after Justice Nicholas Oweibo granted him bail for 20 million naira. The judge also ordered that Emefele be remanded at the Correctional Center pending the fulfillment of the bail conditions. The court gave an order again to say that Emefele should go to the, should be remanded pending when he perfects his bail should be remanded in the prison correctional center, correctional center. but the, this one would have expected that having had that order of court the DSS would vacate go. vacate this place with immediate defect of DSS should hide this face in shame and come out and publicly dis, uh, apologize to Emefele for defaming his reputation. He filed an expert application on the 7th of December 2022 that Emefele is a terrorist and that he committed some financial crime of national security dimension. Now they have only succeeded in, uh, in charging him for possession of firearms. That means he deceived the entire country, he misled the entire world, he libeled Emefele a terrorist. Attainment of the constitutionally prescribed full bench of 21 justices at the Supreme Court with the nomination of 11 justices of the Court of Appeal and the elevation to the Apex Court in year 2023 is seen as a laudable development towards enhancement of justice delivery. Also, number of justices of the Court of Appeal rose by 9 in September 20, while 23 new judges of the Federal High Court were sworn in by Chief Justice Ariwola raising the total number of the court seven judicial officers to 95. 
In the public space, many Nigerians have the notion that the judiciary does not measure up to expectations of being the last stop for the common man and wish the judiciary could be more proactive, especially in the area of prompt justice delivery. That is another part of what I call systemic problem. Lack of proper infrastructure in the system for the judges to perform. Then another one is that the encouragement of technology, though technology has its own problem. Because as good as technology is, the same way it has some other bad aspect of it that are not favorable to the judicial system. The interest is not there. And there is no way there won't be delay. When the system is overclocked and they say they want to bring uh, technology, where is, the te where is the base? Where is the base for sustainable technology, communication, and uh, to help the judiciary? In fact, when they try to introduce something like that in New York State, the FBI has to go and protest because filing papers became filing process. Get, it became a, became a huge problem in Lagos. In fact, we are lamenting that it's even not better to go back to the stages of manual filing than all this one, uh, e filing, electronic filing. Some critical judgments were delivered in the year 2023, like sentencing of Dr. Femi Olaleye to double life imprisonment for the filing and sexual assault of his wife's niece. The convict was arraigned on November 30, 2022, and the ruling at the High Court sitting in Tafawa Balewa that a sister superintendent of police, ASP Dramvi Bandi, is to die by hanging for killing lawyer Omopolanli Rahim last Christmas Day in Lagos. Justice Ibirunke Arison found Vandi guilty of a one count murder charge brought against him by the Lagos State Government. If you say somebody if you learned something, you must have your evidence. We lawyers, we don't believe in hearsay. Ojo said, it's none of my father's business. But I saw Ojo doing it. Uh -huh. That is what we call direct evidence, a clear one. So it is, I regard all those people talking as, uh, I call them uh, political jobbers who are trying to create problems in this country. There is, there, there is no evidence. Let them bring out their evidence that this is what they used to influence this one. Then I will believe them. All lies are still on the judiciary in getting justice for the death of Afrobeat singer Mobad, who died mysteriously on September 12th, and the coroner inquest, which was set up on September 29th, is yet to come up with the final report. The our message is for the youth to calm down, to keep calm and allow peace to reign, as we will definitely get to the root of the cause of the death of this uh, young man. And of course, the cause of justice will be served. And once again, we want to assure the Nigerian public that justice will not be aborted. In the year 2024, there is need to bring about some innovations in the nation's judiciary to tackle systemic problems in the system. Infrastructural improvement, improved welfare of judicial workers as a catalyst to end corruption, and creation of more court across the country in order to move justice close to the people. If you have also the judicial division of the high court, nothing bad. If you have a judicial division of the high court, there's nothing bad. If you have a limo of the high court, there's nothing bad. If you have a jaw, nothing bad. If you have a papa judicial of the high court, there's nothing bad. If you have K2, there's nothing bad. So that the workload will be reduced. Justice delivery delay that has also been, you know, in the front burner for so long. How much have we feared? You know, it, uh, with regards to this. In fact, <laughs> what we have found this year is that there are a lot more of cases yet to be attended to when at the same time you are having so much more coming and then you don't have the facility, you don't have the human resource.